it looks like Embark have actually done it. We've seen, you know, of course, throughout the week, some little teasers here and there, of course, from Oscar jamming out with Carl. And Embark are actually sticking to their roots, coming back home for us to all enjoy Season 4 together. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> I was actually quite surprised that within this very short trailer, Embark revealed a ton of information, right? They showed us all the weapons, which we have worked out by now, of course. You guys might have already seen uh, videos from other creators, respectfully, as well. And they revealed massive parts of the map. But I will say that there are just some things that maybe was a coincidence. Obviously, as you guys know, I've been saying this for a long, long time. I really wanted Embark to focus on one thing. And what was that one thing? This is right here. It's the goddamn sponsors. You guys love Ospoos. You guys love Volpe, for example, as well. And obviously, unfortunately, we're not getting those sponsors, particularly this season. But the new way of introducing a system where new players or, for example, players playing the game for the first time can select their sponsor. They ride or die with that sponsor and they stick throughout, throughout the season is just going to be so, so sick. So there's a ton of, obviously, things up in the air about how this new sponsor system is going to work. I have no idea. I would love to see, as I said, sponsor battles, for example, as well. You know, Assault versus uh, Enjimo versus Holtol as well. It will be super sick to kind of see how that evolves. We actually started to see the faces of the people behind those companies as well, which is actually double sick because, again, we kind of want to see people... And I'm not too sure, again, why we haven't really seen Scotty or June. Maybe they will reveal themselves, for example, like during the trailer, which would be kind of nutty. Or maybe we'll be able to see them, what they look like, who they are uh, during the reveals later on in the season for lore-wise. But guys, I, I really think that we're coming home. Another thing as well is that when we did the video, of course, my wishes for season four, you guys left a ton of feedback. Shout out to all of you as well. There was so many comments on that video. And a lot of people were saying, hey, I want Desert Eagle on the heavy and what happens jewel deagles chat you guys wanted one okay embark don't just give you one boys they give you two yeah so a jewel deagles there on the heavy oh my god embark come through of course with jewel wielding goddamn desert eagles okay i think that's first of all pretty damn sick uh we actually did a little bit of investigations on my stream we had people come up clutch during the live stream shout out to you guys as well for trying to help me reveal of course uh the uh, shotgun for you for light uh, and of course, on top of that, the new rifle for medium. Uh, it's, it, it's expected that it is going to be a DMR. I was thinking it kind of looked like an M4, like an assault rifle instead. But apparently it's going to be a DMR. So, you know, I said bolt action for medium. A DMR is a good compromise. So obviously a question is, you know, is, are these going to change the meta? I mean, I'll be honest to you guys, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, try and pretend that like, I'm going to be like a an expert mind reader, okay? Well, first of all, we need to see how these weapons actually, you know, integrate into the game, how strong they are, for example. For the map design, I think that it's actually pretty damn sick that we're kind of seeing those sponsors clash which really does set the standards for this being like a season four map, right? We have obviously the assault section of the map. We then have the Enjimo section of the map. And then obviously, of course, not forgetting the Holtol section of the map too. But it does kind of give those vibes of like a mashup between like Soul and then a little bit of like Skyway Stadium. I don't know, the kind of the feeling of that map kind of mixes between them. I think it's going to be a map that kind of feels closer to Skyway Stadium with the different sections, but then kind of has a feel, a visual kind of aspect of Soul. I think one of the things that's very underrated in the notes and reveal like this is the fact that this sponsor will give us some more content in the game. Some people in the feedback video in the comment section that I was reading kind of, you know, highlighted sometimes that, hey, I kind of have completed everything a bit too soon. You know, people are grinding the contracts out, they're grinding their rank out. And with this new addition of the sponsors and obviously World Tour, I don't really think that people can say, hey, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, scanning through all the content and completing it, right? There's a lot more to do now, especially if we do have, for example, sponsor wars uh, and things like that, that some people are also asking me as well. So it's definitely going to be something to help out new players, uh, but obviously not forgetting as well in the patch notes, they also said that we've also refined uh, how they give their experience to new players as well. So again, this is perfect. We need to 
help new players kind of be introduced to the game and i actually think by the way if you guys don't know um there was a, a thing in escape from tarkov called like the sherpa or something uh which is basically where people would be assigned like a specific role and then they could help out new players be introduced to the game i'm not gonna lie i'd probably dedicate like a, a few hours a week just introducing new players to the game myself and uh, maybe even do it like on streams for example just to kind of get to fill that experience of people. I think that would actually be pretty damn fun. Now, of course, the massive uh, addition to the finals this time is going to be, of course, the additional uh, optional sites into the game. Now, you might say, Thix, what's your opinion on it? Do you think it's a little bit busted are a little bit broken i think that it kind of depends if the let's say lh1 for example had like an acog site or it had like a 2x or a 4x site on it for example that's a little bit you know it's a little bit kind of it's a little bit kind of there obviously i know if you're used to the lh1 you can kind of beam without needing that you know extra zoom in but a lot more players would be able to be way more effective with the lh1 so i think that if it is selective on which weapons get those optional attachments then i don't think it's going to be a problem i know that a lot of people have been telling me previously before that hey you know the akm needs for example like a site on it um and you know to be honest i think that this is actually a pretty okay thing um you know the the, the next question in hand is you could ask me and say you know fix do will there be further attachments in the future right for example will we get um customization to weapons i think that we absolutely need customization to weapons however um i don't think that it is it, it, i think that it, it can be cosmetic if it's a problem we're kind of going down a path of the game that isn't really ready yet and i actually think that this kind of slow drip feed um, is actually pretty damn good the way that Embark kind of did this because if you're going straight into, you know, a new season with all these different attachments and people are so used to how basic the game was, um, it's, it would leave a lot of confusion out there for sure. So I guess the next step is to kind of guess which weapons will actually enable us to have some sort of scope on it. I don't think that it's going to be as varianted as we kind of are guessing. Some people were saying, oh, maybe we have an option for like a red dot site, a 2x scope, and even like a 4x scope. I don't know if we are going to have that because it would be a kind of lot to do in such a short period of time. Um, but I do think there will just basically be a variant of, hey, do you want the scope on the weapon or do you want an iron sight? Now, there are some things where I actually think it would be cool to go back to the iron sight. For example, the XP-54. Uh, as you guys know, back in closed beta 2, the XP-54 was actually an iron sight only weapon. There was no ACOG sight that was actually on the gun today. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we're, we're kind of growing a little bit more over here on the channel so i appreciate all of you coming along and checking me out um you know we're kind of getting to the stage now where oh, seven more days until uh, we get to twitch on san diego so i'm super excited for it and uh, of course i can't wait to be sharing uh the reaction of course with you guys over there uh for season four so as always guys thank you so so much for watching my name is bethix and i'll see you on the podium